Hi guys and welcome to this introductory uh, tutorial for the uh, mixed models in SAS on demand uh, tutorials that I'm going to do. In this quick video we are going to show you how to use GitHub and how to sign up to SAS on demand and then put your data into there just to get us all set up for the um, group of videos that are to come. So first things first, open up your Internet Explorer of choice and you want to go to www.github.com forward slash Tom hyphen Southchuck. So this is uh, my GitHub page where all of the data that you need for the videos will be. As you can see at the moment, there's only one repository here, the SAS on demand repository, which we're going to use. Uh, when you come to look at this, there may be more. Just make sure you find the SAS on demand repository, click on it. And you will see there are two folders here at the moment. So one for athlete monitoring, one for MBA combine, and then there's a readme. And the readme file is below and basically gives you uh, all of the YouTube videos and a little bit of a blurb as to what all of the YouTube videos will do. So as I write this video, I've got two tutorials planned. One using the MBA combined data you can see and one using the athlete monitoring data. Now, one of the things that I've done to make this easier for you because I'm still figuring out how to use GitHub is I have left a download link for the files. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download both sets of files. Literally just click on the link. It takes you to this download um, resource creator and then downloads both the files. And that's basically all you need to know with regards to GitHub. Uh, feel free to look around to look in the actual folders and see if there's anything there that is of interest for you. But for the purposes of this video, what we're going to do now is we are going to show you how to use these folders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, I'm going to create a tutorials folder on my desktop. You can put this wherever you want. And in order to use these files, what you need to do is you just need to extract them to that directory or to whatever directory you decide you want to extract them to. And then this shows that the files are now extracted. So you've got five files there. Same thing for the athlete monitoring, right click, extract all. And I'm going straight into the tutorials folder again. And there they are. Now we've got both of them in this tutorials folder. OK, so when you've done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to SAS on demand and see how to use SAS on demand, how to put them into SAS on demand, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to go to welcome.oda.sas.com. And when you go onto this page, you will see um, the following screen. Obviously, it's fairly simple at this point. You can either log in or you can create a new profile. So to create a new profile, just click don't have a SAS profile, create profile, go through all of these pieces of information with them, create the profile. You'll then get a verification email, uh, verify your email, uh, activate the profile, and then come back to this welcome.oda.sas.com page. And then simply just log in. And when you log in, you will end up on this page. For the purposes of what we are doing at the moment, you will only need to worry about this SAS Studio uh, link. Uh, in the future, we might start looking at how to uh, use this with uh, Python. But for now, just look at the SAS Studio link.
And when you click the SAS Studio link, this is the screen that you get. So you've got various elements on the left-hand side uh, related to the server and on the right-hand side of your codes. And at this point, it's really important to know that the server is separate from your laptop or computer. So in order to see anything that you see on your computer or laptop on this server, you need to upload it. So that's what we're going to do now. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a new folder called Tutorials. Then another new folder in there called NBA Combine. And then with this folder selected, you need to upload your files. So we're going to choose the files, go and show all files. We'll go straight to the desktop. Tutorials, MBA Combine, and then we are going to upload just the data and the script. And when they upload, you'll see they appear here. And now we're going to do the same thing for athlete monitoring. We make sure that we are clicked on tutorials and not MBA Combine. We're going to add another folder. Again, this could be athlete monitoring. You can see we've got two folders here now. And then again, with this, with the athlete monitoring folder selected, we are going to upload our athlete monitoring data. So for this, you need to upload data one, data two, and the script. And you will see now when we open that, the data has arrived. Okay, so now you can see that you have got all of your data in the Athlete Monitoring folder and all of your data in the MBA Combine folder. Now, unfortunately, although SAS can read in CSV files, it does not save them as CSV files. So what we need to do now is we need to, we need to create a location where these files can be saved in SAS format so that they could be loaded every time uh, SAS loads up rather than having to import them every single time. And we do that using the libraries. So what we're going to do, we open up the libraries and we create a new library using this icon on the left. First one, we are going to call MBA C for MBA Combine. And it is going to be set up in the MBA Combine folder. So make sure you've got the MBA Combine folder highlighted, press OK. And then make sure we recreate this library at startup so that every time SAS starts up, the library exists. And you'll see there's MBAC now. We're going to do the same again for the monitoring, this time calling it MON. And this time it's just going to go into the athlete monitoring folder. And we'll recreate it and start up again. And it's important that we do this because now what we could do is we could go to our MBA combine, we can drag the CSV across to import it. But what we can do is rather than saving it in our temporary library called work, we could actually change that and save it in mom and call it, sorry, not mom, MBAC for this one and call it data. And what will happen when I press save is this data file is going to appear on the left hand side of the screen in the MBA combine folder when I press run. And there we are. We're not going to worry too much about any of these uh, contents procedures in this starting point. We'll focus on that in a later video. So let's do the same again for the athlete monitoring. We're going to upload the data one. Make sure this one goes into the right one, which is mon. Call it data one, save, run the script, 
and then you have your data one in SAS. And that is as far as we are going to go for today.